I'm joined by a very special guest uh, here who has uh, uh, been the Chief Minister of Haryana for the last uh, day, for a decade and lost power in 2014. Uh, did a lot of work for Haryana uh, during that phase uh, and is now all set to uh, be, uh, once again aspired to become the Chief Minister of Haryana. What are the issues this time, Mr. Huda, for you uh, as you contest for this election? This time, you see, in 2014, when we left the government, so Haryana was per capita in per capita income, per capita investment, giving employment, law and order, and sports. It was number one in country. It is not my statistics. Is government of India say you know at the time what was the question? After ten years of uh, out of which five years it was exclusively BJP, and next five years in this uh, coalition with BJP and JJP, now Haryana is number one in unemployment. Law and order is going out of their hand. You know the social progressive index. It has declared Haryana as unsafe, state, unsecured state, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, sports person. You have seen our uh, uh, woman team of wrestlers, which you see brought name and fame for the country. You know whether it is Olympics or um, uh, Commonwealth or Asia. You, they had to sit on Janta Mantra. Still, they have not got the justice. This is the situation. And uh, this uh, Magai, Janus, is out of reach of the people. Farmers, workers, and uh, this government servants, every servant, and all are against this government. So when you say government servants, sir, I'm very happy that you raised it. Just now, the government has announced a unified pension scheme. And you have been one of the proponents fighting for the OPS against the NPS. Yeah, we have already declared, we have promised the people we will go for OPS. But do you, uh, do you welcome the new UPS scheme that is in? They should have gone for OPS. Not for, because this is a mix of blood. There is a mix of blood. But still, they should have gone for OPS. That would have been a welcome step. But if you do come to power, will you accept the UPS scheme because it we is will, more... We, will go, we have promised OPS. We will go for that. Okay. The other issue, sir, is about farmers. You have been raising this right from day one. In fact, you have been writing articles. You were, in fact, during the UPA time, even the chairman of the state committee for uh, reforms in, in the farmer sector. But you were opposed to the whole, MS, uh, the whole concept of what hap happened uh, in terms of the farm laws. Uh, what's your response now to what you're going to do? Will you, do you also believe that an MSP should be legally guaranteed? Yes. You see, in Raipur uh, uh, Congress session, where I was the chairman of that drafting committee for farmers, there we have said it. If Congress, even uh, the central uh, national manifesto before parliament, it was mentioned that we'll give a legal uh, MSP guarantee to farmers. Because, you see, unless that is given, the farmer uh, income those have, it won't be sufficient. To make uh, farmers sustainable income, that has to be there. Because, you see, in uh, 2014 and 2024, the government promised, BJP promised, that they will be doubling the income of farmers by 2022. But what happened? The, the income of farmers has not doubled. It has gone. It, but cost of input has gone many folds. You just see what was the rate of diesel when, uh, in 2014, what is now? What was the rate of fertilizer? What was the rate of pesticides? During, um, uh, when I was the chief minister, Congress party was there, there was no tax on fertilizer, no tax on pesticides. And uh, wet on uh, diesel was 9%, now it is near 18%. The GST on fertilizer, the GST on uh, pesticides, the cost of inputs has gone manifold, but income has not increased. 